Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights I'm gonna come back up ah, I got this Did you pack all this last night? No, this morning Oh wow. I'm so efficient. So as you guys would have seen all over Instagram, Australia is currently like burning. So it's 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 horrible, it's crazy, and it's I'm doing everything I can to help, and so is everyone, I guess. And it's really good because it's literally the only thing that you will see over Instagram from like Australian influencers and followers because we're trying to use our platform to help. And I have um, donated money, but I thought I should also like donate some clothes and everything like that. And if you are someone who you can't really afford to donate money, then I highly recommend just donating like secondhand clothes, stuff that you haven't worn before. I know that clothes, groceries, little things like nappies and just like utensils and stuff like that is needed for these guys. So basically I just got like huge bags together of clothes that I haven't worn in a while or clothes that I have been sent and that I haven't worn and they literally still have their tags on it so I got like heaps of bags for that. I will leave a few articles about the Australian bushfires in the description below if you don't know much about it and I also leave a few links to places that you can donate to, ones that I recommend. So we're going to be heading to Bondi Beach today because the only one that I know of that is doing a donation drop off today, the rest are doing it in a few weeks time. Um, I do have one around where I'm from but they're not doing it until like another week away so I was like we'll just make a day out of it, we'll go to Bondi, they're doing it at the Surf Life Saving Club and we have all day to do that so that's going to be good and then we're just going to head to the gym today is kind of like my creative day which I'm like so happy about I've done all my admin and everything like that so today I'm just going to vlog get some photos and do all of that look what I did to my phone yesterday oh my god I literally dropped a weight on it doing back like can you see that holy guacamole but yeah <laughs> bulking life and I know I'll get a few people asking me this active wear is from right away and I do have my discount code. Say hello. Oh, can you see me? Hey. Hello. <laughs> hello. I do have my discount code and I will leave all the links and everything in the description below. If I <laughs> Guys, lol, I just posted um, this before and after on my Instagram and that progress though. As you guys know, I'm currently um, weight training and trying to build a lot of muscle. I'm gonna make a whole video about it because I get so many like comments and messages from you guys asking like your like tips, my tips and tricks to build muscle. And there's, there's not like tips and tricks and kind of like little sly things that you can do. It's quite like standard and there's like a few main things that you need to be doing in order to gain muscle. Like you need to be lifting weights, you need to be um, eating enough, you need to be getting enough sleep but people think that there's like a magic pill that you could take or anything like that but it really just comes down to the fundamentals of your habits and lifestyle like for me i i have to minimize cardio completely but for some people they do like to incorporate cardio so it really just comes down to what is going to work for you and your lifestyle but today we are training legs i'm going to try and film it for you guys today but if not i will be filming an instagram video like carousel to put on my instagram so I will just pop that up on the screen. You can just head over to my Instagram to follow that. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for legs. Oh my goodness, so guys, yesterday we looked at like um, some apartments for myself because I'm wanting a bigger apartment because as you guys know, I have my dog Mini Moo that I don't think I've spoken about on my channel yet, but I have my dog. Shh, it's secret. It's not a secret, I've already it's... told him. Yeah, but like, Anyway, I don't know what he's talking about because I've already told you guys on my Instagram and majority of you guys follow me on my Instagram, so it's not a secret. Anyway, so I've got my dog Minimoo, but the apartment that I'm in at the moment is way too small for her, so I'm currently looking for a bigger apartment, which is going to help me so much because I need a bigger office, I need like just a bigger place, especially with my filming because I'm kind of like, I feel very claustrophobic and it's just something for my like personal reference something that I want to do and for mini moo obviously but um we looked at a few yesterday for myself there was some good ones so we did actually apply for them so hopefully I do get approved I will keep you guys 
in the loop, but that'll be so exciting. Minnie Moo is still with my family. So my family's dog had puppies and I bought Minnie Moo. Minnie Moo is like the runt of the family. So I'm so excited with that. I am hopefully going to collect her next week sometime just depending on what my real estate say about having a dog in the apartment that I'm in now and I feel as though she'll be fine to be in there until I get approved for a new one but it's just when she gets bigger she's going to need bigger space so hence why I'm thinking smart thinking in the future and being prepared So I want to show you guys a little bit more of what I'm eating through this like little like bulk phase. I get asked so often in my DMs and everything on Instagram. So I thought I'm going to show you guys what I am having post-workout. So before my workout, I just had my um, a protein oats, 60 grams of rolled oats mixed with Woman's Best whey protein powder, um, cinnamon, and um, I pop that like with water and I'll leave it in the fridge. Then the next morning, I'll have it with like honey or peanut butter or whatever I want post-workout. I just have some rice pasta here. So this is like gluten-free rice, rice pasta with chicken thigh that I did in the air fryer. And then some bolognese tomato sauce. Honestly, it is so simple. And then I like I prepare all that. I prepare the majority of my meals on Sundays, so on my juice days. So then I have like three throughout the week. So I'll have three different lunches throughout the week. Then I'll prepare it again around Wednesday or something. I don't prepare my entire week because I like to switch it up with my meals and I don't know what I want for that entire week. And I do like my food to stay somewhat fresh because like a lot of chicken and a lot of meat won't actually stay fresh the entire week. So I do kind of like two lots of meal preps. So this week I'm having pasta and then I'll switch it up with like rice. I do like to switch it up. That is something that is so important when you are trying to eat healthy is to make it fun. You know, the food doesn't, your meals don't have to be boring. Personally, I do love simplicity when it comes to my food. So I do like to just like rice, chicken, pasta I do love simple foods but if you are someone who you have time and you want to play around with the ingredients and you want to put some herbs and spices go for gold like I've said a few times on my Instagram I highly suggest getting an air fryer I know I talk about it so much but literally I just pop everything so I pop my potatoes I'll pop my meat I pop all my meat in the air fryer and it cooks it to perfection so I'm going to enjoy this and I'll chat to you guys after We've just got back from Bondi and wow, that was it's actually amazing how many volunteers and how much stuff people have donated. So we just went to Bondi Life Saving Club and I had like five bags that I dropped off and I actually, I really wanted to um, volunteer and help like with the boxes and everything. But they were, by the time we got there, they were basically closing everything up. So I told them that I'm gonna come back tomorrow. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go there for like three hours. They do nine till three. So I'm gonna go there and aim to get there around 12 and then do like three hours there just like packing boxes and helping them because honestly it's crazy how many people have got affected even toby he got evacuated from his home so he's been staying at mine the past three days because him and his mum have been evacuated from where he's from but it's honestly amazing how much australia is becoming like a strong nation because of it like everyone is doing their little bit to help and that's that's what matters most so tomorrow i do have a big day i will keep you guys updated on my instagram story and everything but i probably won't vlog because i'll have like a lot to do and i want to be like fully present with all the other volunteers okay so i've just finished volunteering at the bondi beach surf club i spent four hours there and i'm on my way home um i did it until three o'clock and that's when they shut and i'm probably going to go back there tomorrow 
but on my way home like I was just like I feel a little bit helpless like, I feel like I want to be doing more I've donated my clothes I've donated money but it's just it's a position that I've never been in this is my country and literally all I can see is people reposting about it things on Facebook like our sky is foggy and I just want to be doing as much as I can and I was on my way home I'm not even home yet and on my way home I was kind of like what else can I do and then I was thinking what what uh, what's a talent that I have that I could help with so I'm currently at office works and I think I'm just going to get some art and craft and I'm going to either paint or draw some canvases and sell them and all the money that I make on it I'll just give to a charity that is going to the fires so obviously I'll do my research on the best type of charity around but I don't even know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get some that's why I'm just here I'm just here at office I'm just here at office works and I'm gonna be like okay what can I make anyway I'm currently vlogging on my phone so the quality is probably <laughs> Okay, we are ready to rumble. So I've got all my little arts and craft down here. I go a little bit crazy in office work, so I did have to tame myself. I'm just gonna completely wing it, like the story of my life. But honestly, I'm gonna have so much fun. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my